Kristen Sears. I, uh, I do cycling and I focus basically on the uh, track velodrome. I was always active. I loved to be athletic. That was like my thing. And I did Highland dancing. I did lots of running, short distance, long distance, volleyball. So when I heard about cycling, I didn't really know much of it. It was, I didn't even know there's such thing as a road bike. Thankfully, Andrew Eiler did a testing through different high schools. I first met Kristen at a talent identification program that I was running in Hamilton. The, the program started as a means to identify and recruit kids into the sport of cycling. What we found is that there was a bit of a disconnect. Kids rode their bikes around the neighborhood. Um, they, they rode around with their friends, but they really didn't connect their bike that was sitting in their garage to a competitive sport. Most kids played baseball or soccer or basketball and cycling just wasn't on the radar and so what we decided to do was right, to, to put a program Here together that went right into the schools Three, two, to one, show go. kids that cycling is a competitive sport. It doesn't matter whether you're big or small and whether it's track, road, mountain bike, BMX, we thought we would expose them to cycling as, as an avenue for competition. I, I did the test. I got, um, I got a letter in the mail saying I did good enough, you know, to meet him and talk about, you know, a little bit about cycling and what can happen with it. So um, from there, I just thought, oh, why not? You know, I'll try it. I've never heard about road bikes. So I started in 2010 as a cadet at 14 years of age. And then um, I moved into junior. And then after junior, I, it's 2014, which is my first year as an elite athlete. And that's when I can start competing against, you know, the best women around the world. Cycling is, is such a hard sport and I, I think certainly you need to, to have the physical attributes to, to be able to ride fast, to ride long distances if you're a road athlete, um, to be a little bit fearless if you're any kind of rider on the track. Uh, but the, the biggest attribute I think that pays off to have is mental toughness. I don't think a lot of people understand or actually know what I sacrifice in order to be who I am. You know, I, I've, I've given up so many family trips and vacations, so much time with my friends. Um, working out all the time completely takes away from that atmosphere with my friends. Most people really don't understand what it, it takes to, to rise to the level of an elite athlete at either the national or international level. These days, it, it's more than getting on your bike six or seven days a week. It, it's all encompassing. So it includes everything from nutrition to real intensive planning and coordinating all different aspects of training. So my biggest motivation for training is probably making my parents, friends, coach proud. Um, also proving people wrong and um, being successful. As a first year elite athlete, it's, um, my goals are to be successful, represent Canada, and to go to the Pan Am Games in 2015 in Milton at the New Velodrome. And I think the, the biggest obstacle for her this year is gaining the experience and lifting her level and being mentally tough when she's facing competition that's far higher than she has had to contend with as a junior. And hopefully she hits her stride in 2015 and is able to make the team for Pan Am because that's her ultimate goal is to be on the national team for, for the Pan Am Championships in Toronto.